Perfect enough. Oh, oh, tail's out. Tail's out. What is going on, Aqua Beast? This is a big one today. I'm here with Dylan, my cousin, and uh, like I said, this is a huge one today. The Marvel Matoro Stingray goes into the 600 gallon pond, baby. So I, I want to. I've had him for probably over a year, actually. I know that for a fact. He's been in a 120 gallon tank, and uh, he's in with the Bicher. Um, but I mean, look, he's getting huge and honestly, he's just outgrown this tank. It's been super nice having him in a tank, watching him swim up and down the glass. I mean, he's, he's probably, I mean, he's one of my favorite fish. He's ridiculous, gorgeous, awesome character as he comes up on the glass. Um, but yeah, I'll actually throw you guys back to the footage of when I got this guy. Actually check out that video right now if you, if you haven't seen that video. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that was like a year ago, but we'll throw you back to that footage. And I want to get the stingray in there right away, as you can tell by the thumbnail. Oh my god, he's gorgeous. Swimming, buddy. Oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. That wasn't the cleanest transition, but he's in, and I, he didn't get stuck in the net. It's going to take him a second to get used to his environment, but look at that thing. All right, so the plan basically though is we got a styrofoam like little cooler down there and uh, I got two nets, which I think will be big enough, kind of. He, I mean, he's big, he's really big. Uh, but so we're gonna net him, we're gonna put him, I'm gonna put some water in there obviously, we're gonna put him in there, then we're gonna drip acclimate him to the pond. That way temperatures and water levels and uh, I mean, I'm excited to get him in the pond, but I'm also gonna miss him in the tank, but something I need to do before do before college so he's in bigger water volume and uh so so that the water stays better because as you know freshwater stingrays let off a lot of uh, ammonia all right let's get some water in there take two i really don't need much in this one this one i retied because the poppy broke through it and the tail in this one scoop hands far away in there transition we'll get this a go i'm a little nervous not even for me as much more for him he just has no clue to he's been in here for quite a while all right oh my gosh is he a mo oh i don't know dylan Dylan, I, you got it. I don't know, dude. He's Come looking a lot quick. bigger in person. Oh, no doubt. Oh my God. You definitely got it, though. Just gotta he's, take your time. He's a big boy. Come on, buddy. Scoop him this one. It's so hard to get under him. Oh. Yup. Yup. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, I got his tail too, I think. Oh, yeah. oh he's all the way in there now. Okay. Yeah, see? Perfect. Okay. Oh. Perfect enough. Oh. oh, tail's out. Tail's out. Tail is out. You gotta just go quick. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, did you hear him grunting? Holy, yeah. holy cow, was that scary. His tail started flopping out. Let me just okay. survey the water splash here. Yeah. Slightly damp. Slightly. Slightly. He's in there really good. Here we go, here we go. Get this. Here he goes. Yeah, oh he goes my gosh. Massive from above. Oh my gosh. Woo! Is he just gorgeous? Alright, so good old drip acclimation. Get this in the water, give it a suck. And then, if that would be nice, that would go in the water though. It's kind of important. And then uh, I'm gonna let, I'm probably gonna let him drip acclimate for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. All right, so just like that, 
it is what I'd like to call not drip acclimating, stream acclimating. No, but yeah, so I'm gonna let this water double. He's chilling in here. That way the temperatures, temperatures will match and he can even get used to the slightly different water quality. Um, but yeah, now we just wait. All right, so we are almost done. <laughs> we are almost done acclimating, um, but I'm gonna run you guys what he's going in with into the uh, 600 gallon pond. So first off, I've got a monster arowana. It's actually, I've only had them for like, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks now. If you guys didn't watch the last video, watch the last video of getting the arowana and this monster peacock bass right here. Um, and then I've got a shovel nose in here. Shovel nose, super nice. Honestly, that's the biggest Lima shovel nose I've ever seen, um, in person at least. He's very nice catfish, not worried about him at all. Peacock bass, he'll chase down the catfish a little bit. I really don't think he'll pick on the stingray. Um, he's on the bottom, he's up top. And the arowanas, they're like the number one thing you put with the stingray. So I think everything should go just fine. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get the we're gonna get Dexter in there pretty soon. All right, so uh, we're taking out the drip. It's been about 30 minutes, so he definitely should be acclimated temperature. And oh my gosh, I can't get over how big he's gotten. Um, I don't know, this, to me this is like a huge moment. I'm excited to get him in the pond. He's gonna have so much more room and he's gonna be able to grow to monster sizes. Here we right, go. Let's do it. I'm just gonna dump him in because it's my water and it's mostly pond water. Holy cow. Here we go, ready? Oh my gosh, officially into the pond. <laughs> so freaking wet. He's already coming up, he's already coming up. He looks so tiny now. He misses you. He looks, he looks so tiny. Oh my gosh, he's just sucking onto the wall right now, getting used to the new surroundings. Oh my gosh. He really, he really does look so tiny in here. Got, As Dylan said, Marble on the marble. The marble on the marble. Oh my gosh. He looks so tiny in here. It's crazy. But in reality, he's like a foot. Peacock didn't even check him out. I don't think he's, I don't even think he's really going to think about checking him out. Apparently, the peacock also like around the Amazon area, apparently they should realize that the colors and realize that they can be stabbed. Although he's kind of checking them out. Don't bite that. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think he's just scoping it out. Everybody's over here checking it out. The arrow, the, the lima. He really is gorgeous. Oh. I am so stoked to, um, I mean, I'm gonna miss him in the tank, but I'm stoked to get him in the pond. That just means he can really just take off and growth. And uh, that was one of the things I had to do before I leave for college, but um, now the 120 is looking very empty, so I'm gonna have to. I got a couple fish in the fish cave that I'm gonna move to that actually. But Dylan, thanks for the help. I mean, just look at him in the 600 gallon. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a few hours or a day or two when he's more acclimated and checking in how he's doing. All right, this is multiple days later, and the stingray, Dexter, the marble Matoro ray is doing terrific in the pond. Uh, the peacock have originally checked him out a little bit, but he is not picked on. Uh, he's not picked on him at all, as you can see. He's looking gorgeous. Um, just oh, so fun having him in the pond. He's been killing it in there. He's been eating. I've actually hand fed him stuff already. It's probably been four days in the pond so far, and uh, everything's been going great so far. Super stoked that he's in there and having no issues. Um, this Dexter's, he's my baby. But, uh, but yeah, so he's gonna be able to get um, absolutely massive in this pond. We're talking, he'll be able to grow to about three and a half feet in diameter. So he's really gonna take off in this pond. And uh, we'll give you guys one last look, but uh, this will be it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll end this one on Dexter.
Good look. <laughs> oh, for one. <laughs>